Okay, we're back on the scene. I know it's been a while since our last video, so I hope everyone is doing well and staying positive. And we appreciate your continued support. So I want to give a shout out to Mike. Now this project is one of my first projects back in 2006. And the customer across the street has been a neighbor probably about 15, 20 years. So when it was time for him to start his retaining wall project, he contacted Mike. Mike gave him my number, which I had the same number for over 20 years, and we got started on this project. Now, if you had the same number for over 20 years, leave a comment below. Just a quick demo of the old pressure treated retaining wall. It's been up about 15, 20 years. This time around, the customer decided to go with a concrete retaining wall. Here we're cutting some stakes, sometimes called kickers. They're used to help support the wall during the pour. With this retaining wall, we followed the existing grade, which means we had to custom cut each rebar for this wall using our rebar cutter and bender. One of the best investments I made. Using duplex nails, we tie our vertical rebars in place. This also makes for a nice and strong rebar mat once the horizontal rebars are in place. The real time saver for us on all our jobs is this rebar tying gun. I call it the Terminator. Now it's time for us to close up the front. We pre-position our stakes approximately every four to five feet on center, depending on how tall the wall is. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. We have a couple of other small concrete retaining wall projects we did earlier in the year. Just wasn't able to get enough footage to put a complete video together. Now it's time for some concrete. This is the fun day. I got my son out here helping us out. Got a lot going on here outside of this retaining wall. We also got a concrete patio on the side of the house. We got a stamped concrete patio coming down the front of the house. And we also added a couple curves up here to grade out the customer's yard in the future. I believe he's gonna put some artificial turf. I have videos coming from those soon, probably in the next couple weeks. So be sure to subscribe to our channel to be the first one to be notified. So ideally we do a form finish, which means we'll strip the wood the next day. 
customer wanted us to do a, a smooth broom finish. I'm sorry, a broom finish on this wall. So we ended up stripping the same day and applying a broom finish. Good thing it was a short wall, and not too long, or we would have had to call some more people out. Nothing like running to the supply store at the last minute, grabbing a nice brand new broom to apply our broom finish. And as promised, here's a look at some other videos. I'm sorry, some other projects we did earlier in the year. These are small retaining walls as well. Just didn't really get enough footage to put a complete video together. Well, that just about wraps it up for this video. So I appreciate you guys' time. Remember to stay positive, hang around people that are positive. If you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, hit us up. The link is in the description below. Everyone else, hope it helped you guys out on your project. Have a good day. Remember, stay positive.